viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at section e, B of the 2022 Science Paper 1. So this is basically the August paper. Let us look at question e, B5. An 8 kg brick fell from a building under construction. The brick fell from a height of 80 meters. Taking gravity to be 10 newtons per kg, A calculate the potential energy just before it started falling. So just before it started falling, what it means is um, the potential energy is uh, at maximum, then the zero kinetic energy. Uh, mass in kg multiplied by gravity, then times height in meters. So mass we've been given is 8 kg, then uh, height is basically 80 meters, then we have gravity. So it's just a matter of substituting. So we have 8 multiplied by uh, 10 multiplied by 80 meters. Then when we multiply this, we are going to end up with basically uh, 6,400 joules. So this is uh, basically the potential energy. Then after falling halfway, so after falling halfway, which is basically uh, half of this is basically at 40 meters. This is 80 meters. So what it means is half of this uh, potential energy would have been converted to kinetic energy. Then uh, the remaining will be potential energy. So to find the potential energy at halfway, we use the same formula. In this case, it will be now mass is still 8 kg, then multiply by gravity, which is 10, then multiply by the height now is half of 80, which is 40. Then when you multiply this, we are going to get a 3200, which is 3200 uh, joules as basically the potential energy. Alternatively, you could have just uh, divided. Uh, 6,400 by 2 to end up with uh, 3,200 if you knew what you are doing. So basically, this is how you answer this question. We go to question e, B. Calculate the kinetic energy of the brick after falling for 3 seconds. So, how do we find kinetic energy? So what we've been given is basically uh, the time, then we've been given the height. So to answer this question, we use uh, this uh, fact. So the fact that uh, final velocity is given by initial velocity plus uh, acceleration times time. So the time is uh, 3 seconds. So we've been given a uh, gravity which is a uh, 10 newton per kg. So this one indirectly implies that acceleration due to gravity is given by 10 meters per second square. So this is will be our acceleration. So now once we substitute there, we can find a velocity at 3 seconds. So initial velocity is starting from uh, the building. So initial velocity is 0. So v is equal to uh, basically 0 plus uh, 10 meters per second square multiplied by uh, 3 seconds. Then velocity equals uh, basically uh, 30 meters per second. So if you know velocity, then we can find the kinetic energy because we know the mass. The mass is basically 80 kg. So kinetic energy is given by half multiplied by a mass times velocity square. So this is equal to half multiplied by a 8 kg multiplied by 30 square. This will give us basically half times 8 is a 4 times a 30 square is 900. So 900. So when we multiply this, we are going to end up with 4 which is equal to 3600 joules as the kinetic energy. So basically, 
this is how you find kinetic energy using the time given and uh, basically acceleration to find the kinetic energy of a falling object remember this is key so basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the 70 max so please join me as i look at question b6 in the next episode